Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for visa for Georgia step by step. But before we start, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video at your social media. And if you have any question or inquiry, you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram www.evisa.gov.ge slash geo visa slash once you click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and this is the official website from where you can apply for the electronic visa for Georgia so let's see together how to apply for electronic visa for Georgia using this website click here over apply now then this page will appear in front of you choose your nationality let's say I'm applying from Egypt type of travel document ordinary passport purpose of visit tourism and if you don't have a valid insurance you can get a valid insurance by clicking over this link this page will appear in front of you and you can choose any of these insurance uh, packages in front of you but I will assume that yes I have a valid insurance all right and security verification G A L G A one B one I confirm then click next okay the security verification code is not correct F M F five V okay so they are telling you that you will need uh, these two documents the first document is a photograph of yourself and the second document is a passport and the permission scanned in a single PDF okay so select your date of intended arrival to Georgia let's say for example I will be arriving at the end of September okay and this visa is for 30 days and uh, the cost is 20 US dollars then click next okay uh, terms and conditions I'm traveling for short-term purpose I'm aware that I'm like for Eves from okay my travel document passport validity extend okay I can prove at borders that I hold a return ticket I can uh, prove at the border that I have sufficient funds I fully acknowledge that submission of any false documents information become the ground of visa refusal I fully acknowledge that I am responsible for determining the date the e-visa application fee shall not be refunded I confirm that I meet each and every one of the conditions I confirm that I meet conditions for crossing the Georgian border then click next now you will have to start filling this application form starting with first name surname date of birth let's choose this year for example mail upload a photo okay upload a photo so I am uploading this photo all right email address this is the email address travel document number expiration date of travel document passport it will expire at which year let's say at that year January 1st check this box if application is submitted by representative no traveling with companions no uh, passport and permission is scanned in a single uh, BDF okay this is my passport for example then click next please fill out the compulsory fields there are some fields okay what is the problem with the photo photo is not Complaint to ICO standards. Please upload another photo. Okay, so I'm having a problem with the photo now. Okay, so now I fixed the problem with the photo and now I will click next.
okay so now I am verifying all my data please note that after the verification you will not be able to change your data okay I'm sure about all my data I will click verify okay so your application has been successfully completed you have finished the first step of your application please check your email read terms and conditions and following the instructions proceed uh, to the payment okay so i will check my email right now to see if i have received any email from their side okay so I received this one if you have some application to jump, please click approve button below okay approve now I have to proceed with the payment click proceed with payment and in this section you will be writing down your card number your expiry date the CVV and then you will click uh, next and after you click uh, next your payment is supposed to be uh, generated and after being generated you will receive a confirmation in email and also uh, your visa will be processed and after your visa is issued you will receive it through your email so if you can only apply for visa through the embassy for Georgia just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you click OK choose your status or okay, status over here okay I'm a foreign citizen stateless person then click next and then down there you need to choose the embassy of Georgia which embassy you are going to submit this application form for for example let's say I'm submitting it to the embassy of Georgia uh, to Republic uh, of India then click OK. These are the details of the uh, embassy, the email, the phone number, the location. Then click Next. And now I have to fill all these informations. OK. Upload. Upload. Upload again. Okay, let me just fill these details first. Mail. Let's say I am applying from India, for example. Why not? Okay, contact information. India. Town. Mailing address postal code phone number email address okay application is submitted is submitted by a representative no then click next okay service ty uh, type okay choose your uh, service over here okay immigration ordinary and transit visa okay then click next the service fee is 20 us dollars then click next please select okay vfs global then click next visa application this is my visa application right now okay I need to complete this application down there okay current occupation your position salary for example phone number okay
do you have residence permit of any country? I will say no. Do we have USA Schengen visa? I will say no. Okay, employer's email address. Do you have any additional income? No. Travel information, purpose. Okay, tourism. Duration in, during your stay. I will stay for 30 days. Number of entries. I want a single entry. Intended date of arrival. Let's say I arrive in September. Intended date of departure. Let's say I will, will departure in October. Invitation is provided. No. Address during your stay in Georgia. Phone number. Okay. Additional information. Have you ever been to Georgia? No. Have you been refused a visa for Georgia? No. List of countries you have been visiting during the last year. Uh, have you ever been convicted in a crime? No. Do you have a communication uh, a communicable disease? I'll say no. Okay. Information to family members. Information on accompanying persons. Okay. And then, okay. I declare, then click next. Market in red. Okay. This one, place of birth. Passport to travel document. Number. Ordinary. Expiry date. Then click next okay i still need to upload a photograph over here so i did upload a photograph click next okay documents do you need to upload any documents over here upload for example if you have a ticket or hotel booking or any supporting document it is favorable to to upload it okay and then if you have any comments to the consular office and now i will have to review my application and all the details then click submit e-application in order to submit the application terms and conditions have to be accepted okay i accept write the capacha seven five seven eight five two six seven submit e-application okay and once your application is submitted now you will have to print the e uh, application over here just click over uh print e application or click print visa application and both applications will be printed over here so this is the electronic application over here you will have to uh, print it and you will have to write of course your uh, signature down here uh, down there over here and this is the application form that you will take with you along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video and to submit it to the uh, visa office or the embassy of georgia in your country so regarding to know uh information about the embassy of georgia in your country or any country just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you the locations of the georgian embassies and consulates around the world just check your uh country and you will find all the details like the address the phone numbers the emails and even the website in this section we will speak about all the documents that you will need to apply for any visa but before we start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and if you have any question write it in the comment section down there or contact me at my account at instagram the first document that you will need is your passport make sure that your passport is valid for six months and at least two pages are empty for the stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear. You will also need photocopies of your passport. Make sure that you have at least three photocopies and mainly they will ask for a photocopy for the data pages, but sometimes that foot a photocopy 
of the stamps and the other visas in your passport will be required you will also need a personal picture make sure that your picture is new not older than six months and it's preferred that your picture be with a white background except if they tell you something else and your face details must be clear in your picture you will have to submit a visa application form it could be online or filled by computer then printed and signed or printed then filled manually then signed all depend on the kind of the visa you're applying for you will have also to submit a proof of status if you are an employee you will need to submit an hr letter signed from your company stating your position and your salary and all the details of your company if you are the business owner you need to provide all uh, the document that prove that you have your own business if you are a student then you will need to submit uh, an admission letter from your university if you are a minor you need a letter of permission from your parents and if you are jobless then you will need to uh, prove uh, your source of fund you will need to provide a proof of legal status only if you are applying from another country so if you are traveling as a tourist or visitor or working in another country then you will have to submit either a visa or uh, a residence permit in this country a proof of funds is also required it could be a bank statement and it should cover at least the last, the last six months of your account and it should be signed and stamped from your bank you will be asked sometimes to submit a flight reservation and it should be a round trip and it could be either a confirmed ticket or a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them confirm a ticket and also a dummy ticket there are many websites that you can use for booking your flight uh, ticket and in this uh, video we will use kayak site of course there are many other sites uh, like skyscanner and you can also book directly from a flight company itself so here let's assume okay our flight is return so it's like round of flight and only for one adult and our decision from Cairo let's say to Karachi Pakistan and let's use the dates okay these dates are fine search and now the site is searching for the flights there are many expensive flights but we will try to find cheap one so we can see this flight okay click here for the cheapest this flight from Lethad is very cheap so we will need to view the details of this flight just click over view details okay and we will be directed to this website budget air where we will have to make our booking okay i accept this is a site okay i already used the flight now i have to fill my details as the passenger and this is the price in uh, the emirate uh, durham but we already knew the price in us dollars here we need to fill our details all our details name your name date of birth and whatever whatever just as an example i just want to show you how to make a booking using this random site and okay okay we have to fill more details here in this section uh, you can pay more money so uh, in case you want to cancel your your trip you can uh, get full fund okay passenger number expiry date okay that number okay and then click next now here my contact details you need to fill your contact details okay i have to fill these sections read 
address line postal code city email retype the email and the phone number then next okay and you can pay for your flight now we have uh, to choose again okay this is the main price don't pay i don't want to pay any extra money you just choose it they keep remind reminding you do you want to pay extra money for uh, a full refund and down there i will choose my booking i will choose the basic one because there is no extra charges i'm just trying to find the cheapest way and then click down there no thanks and then next and right now i am in the section where i have to make my payment first check your details my flight from here to there my details and in this section you need to fill uh, your credit card or visa card number and to make your payment then the ticket will be sent uh, to you by your uh, through your email so for those who want to learn how to make a dummy ticket not a confirmed ticket you can use this uh, website dummy ticket for making a dummy ticket and the whole idea behind a dummy ticket that once you make uh, a booking they buy the ticket for you with your details and they put it in on hold for 10 days or two weeks and after that your ticket will expire so it is a real ticket but it will expire after uh, a specific uh, period so you need to choose which ticket do you want uh, are you sure that you are going to travel then you make a confirmed ticket or are you still not sure and afraid that you will lose money so you make uh, a dummy ticket so right now to start making a dummy ticket i think we need to click over uh buy ticket this icon and in this section you have to choose the type of your ticket you want this ticket for applying for visa so we'll choose the first one and the price will be 19 us dollars and then down there we you will have to start filling all your details your name your surname your date of birth and so on okay then uh, uh, your travel details okay your departure date okay it's around the trip so from which city to which city your departure date your return date date and how you can also choose how you want to get this dummy ticket through email whatsapp or both of them and then you fill your billing details your personal details and down there you have to choose the way of paying for this ticket you can choose either paypal or debit and credit card just fill the details of your card and make your payment then you will receive your ticket uh, through either email or whatsapp a travel accommodation proof should also be provided sometimes it's asked to be confirmed sometimes it's okay to be an initial uh, booking uh, and sometimes some countries require you that this travel accommodation proof covers at least a third of your trip there are many websites for making a hotel booking but the most common website is booking.com you just need to choose your destination where to go 
uh, let's say Delhi, New Delhi, and then my check in will be in these dates, the first to the fifth, for four nights, and I want a place only for one adult. All right, done, and start searching, and you can see all the options down there and you can sort these options well, according to well, the price for example choosing the cheapest first so for example you can go for the cheapest prices first if you care about money and you can see many 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 cheap stuff uh, over here of course you can change the currency uh, from Egyptian bound to US, do uh, to US dollars uh, or any other uh, currency and you need also to check uh, like the rank of all these uh, rooms so let's say that I will choose this hotel just click over it and then this page will appear in front of you you can see pictures of the place where you are going to stay and they will tell you the other things like there is Wi-Fi uh, there is a shower uh, there is AC so just go down there and now you can choose this is the price for four nights uh, and you can pay this number for one person or uh, another number for two person so yeah it's considered to be a very cheap price for two people now you can just select a room and once you select the room you will uh, you, you will just click over I will reserve that you want to reserve this room all right and here in this section you will start filling all your details your detail over here all your details your name uh, uh, why you are traveling the reason for your trip and then once you finish it you go down there okay and then click over final details and once you click over it you don't have to pay of course because the payment will be in the property but you will have to confirm your booking and then they will send you a copy of your booking uh, through your email some countries especially European countries require you to provide a travel insurance so it should be made from a verified office or platform and as I told you it's not always necessary and it should cover your whole trip and some countries require you to uh, submit a travel insurance that covers a year and it should cover at least uh, 30,000 euros and that doesn't mean that its price should be 30,000 euro but I will clarify uh, to you when I teach you right now how to make a travel insurance there are many websites to make a uh, travel insurance uh, we are going to use AXA Schengen website for making this travel uh, insurance uh, so once you uh, get to the website you have just to choose you're making an insurance for only one person okay and you need to use the, the dates from which day to which day and then get code and you then will find many options like there are we offer the first one that can cover for 30 uh, thousand euros this is the good one and this is the one which is required by European Union for uh, 62 euros so this one is is very good but there are also other options like the other one with 70 uh, with 97 uh, euros and the other one for a full year for 30 for 328 uh, euros but uh, we will just go with uh, the first uh, option since it's uh, it, it is cheap and also uh, cover all uh, the essentials that we need Wait. So 
just click over select and once you select it you get to this section where you will have to fill all your details and then click confirm and pay and once you click confirm and pay you will make your payment using your visa card visa card or mastercard and then you will receive this travel insurance through your email remember also that before applying for any visa you have to contact either the embassy or the application office and ask them if there is any extra documents required from you or is there is any uh, different documents or is there is any change in the visa application procedures because sometimes visa uh, procedure change from a country to another in the end please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media accounts and if you have any question or inquiry please write it down there at the comment section or contact me at my instagram